Now, a saturation plugin is a type of audio effect used to add harmonics to our sound, making it sound fuller, louder, and potentially warmer or grittier. It differs from compression that it's meant to emulate the behavior of analog hardware, like an analog console, a tape machine, or tube amplifiers, by adding even or odd harmonics to the audio signal. So a project set up here with a vocal, some drums, bass, piano, and some acoustic guitars. And I've already added some plugins to the track and created a rough mix. Let's open up the mixer. We can see right here, I have some compressors and EQs. So we're gonna add saturation plugins in addition to these plugins. And the easiest way to do that, because you wanna put it on all the tracks, is to first select all the tracks. Select all, then we'll hit Shift F, which opens up our effects browser. Then we'll go to the filter and type non, and there's a plugin I wanna try first called a nonlinear processor, which is a saturation plugin which is meant to model an electronic circuit, like from a console or from analog hardware. Then we'll right click it and choose to add it to selected tracks. Now we can see it's added to every track in our project, but I'm gonna put it as the first plugin on each track, although you could put it anywhere you prefer. Just drag them all to the top. Then we could use this feature in Reaper to bypass them all at once, or change the preset to all of them at once. So we'll go up here to the view menu and choose the project media effects bay. Or we can use the keyboard shortcut control B on the PC or command B on the Mac. And that opens up our project bay. We'll go to the tab for our effects. And over here, we can see all the effects or plugins we're using in this project. And if we go over here to the nonlinear processor, we can see we're using nine instances of the plugin. Let me go down here and bypass them to turn them off and turn them on with the same button. But we could also change the preset right from here. Let's open up one of them so we could see it right over here. And I set up some presets based on how much saturation I want to add. 30%, 50%, 40%. Which we can adjust right over here if we want. But now, by using our project effects bay, we can change the preset on all of it right from here. We can change them all to 70% right here, or 50%, or 30%. But let's start off with 30%, which is the default for this plugin. And again, we could bypass all instances of the plugin right from here. So let's hear what the track sounds like without this plugin. Easy rider on the Station wagon going slow. Windows open, you are basking. Now let's hear it with this plugin turned on at 30% saturation. Easy rider on the Station wagon going slow. Windows open, you are basking. It's pretty subtle right now, so let's try it with 50% saturation. Easy rider on the Station wagon going slow. Windows open, you are basking. Notice how much more upfront it sounds with a bit of compression and saturation on each track. Let's try a bit more 
all instances and change it to 70%. Easy rider on the We're getting even more saturation. Now let's switch each preset on the fly, starting with 30%. Easy rider on the Station wagon going slow. Again, it's pretty subtle, but you want it to be subtle to not overpower your mix and mix into the saturation plugins. So there's another plugin I want to try. So let's bypass this one and add another plugin the same way. All the tracks are still selected. So again, we'll hit Shift F and we'll type in saturation in the filter. So I've installed this third party plugin called GSAT Plus by TB Pro Audio. I'll leave a link to it in the description below, but it's a free saturation plugin you could download that works with Reaper. So again, we'll right click it and add it to selected tracks. And because we selected all the tracks, it's gonna be added to all of them. And again, let's put it before the other plugins. And with the other plugin bypassed, we're just gonna hear this one in addition to these others. And it shows up right here. The GSAT plus nine instances, one on each track. And again, we could bypass it right from here and also change the presets right from here. Now let's open up one of the plugins so you can see it down here. And notice there's more presets we could choose from over here, but I just saved a few in here that I think sound the best to keep it simpler. And again, we could choose them right from here for all instances of this plugin. We'll start off with warm. Notice it changes to warm on all the tracks. Easy rider on the highway. Station wagon going slow. Again, it's pretty subtle. Let's try medium. Easy rider on the Station wagon going slow. Windows open, you are basking. It's also a bit subtle. And let's try 2B, which I assume is meant to sound like a tube amplifier. Easy rider on the Station wagon going slow. Windows open, you are basking. Kind of liking what that does. Then we'll try transform me which I assume is meant to sound like transformers. Easy rider on the Notice that cuts off a lot of the top end. Easy rider on the Station wagon going slow. Pretty drastic, but could be useful for certain types of tracks. Maybe a rock track where you don't need it to be so pretty in the top end. 
It's a much more aggressive sound, especially in the mids. Let's try the last one, which is meant to sound like the preset used in Pro Tools called Heat. Let's choose it and hear what this sounds like. Easy rider on the Station wagon got slow When those open you are basking It's also pretty aggressive, at least for this track. But again, let's switch each preset on the fly. Turn it on, and we'll start with warm easy rider on the station wagon got slow when those open you are basking Now to switch between each one even quicker, a bit earlier, I rendered each mix separately and I put it into a different project. Right in here, we have our raw mix, 30%, 50%, and 70% nonlinear, then the GSAT plus, warm, medium, tubi, transformy, and finally heat, or that Pro Tools sound. And to switch back and forth very quickly, we'll mute all of them and then we'll solo each one, one at a time. But to switch it quicker, we'll use the feature exclusive solo, which is all control on the PC, option command on the Mac, and hitting the solo button. So if I hold down the modifier and hit it, it just solos and we hear the raw mix. Or this one, or this one, and this one, and so on. So we'll only hear one mix at a time, which is obviously what we want. So let's hear each version against each other a bit quicker. Easy rider on the highway. Station wagon got slow. When those open you are basking. So that I 
I think I'm liking the GSAT Plus 2B preset and also the 50% linear and the 70% linear, pretty much equally between all three. I like the top end on this one. Easy rider on the but these two also sound pretty smooth. Easy rider on the Station wagon going slow. Windows open, you are basking. With your hand out. So as you could tell, Adding saturation plugins to your mix can really make it sound a little more upfront, more saturated, with more harmonics and a fuller, louder, more gritty sound if you want. And if you don't need all that top end, you could go with these two. Easy rider on the But I think they're a bit too aggressive, at least for this song. So that's pretty much it. That's adding saturation plugins in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo boys, let's go. Oh!